What's up, guys? Hey, it's James Hurst again with The Marketing Show. Now, I have heard that you could build out an entire website here and use custom values for the colors, okay? And I, so I kind of knew how it was possible, uh, but I was struggling to figure it out. I figured it out. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, so basically, let's just do the test here. So um, here's the custom values. Headline, bold color. Okay, I'm going to go change it. So I had orange in here. So I'm going to go do a search. Let's do green. Green hex code. Okay. It is 00FF00. Okay. Let's grab that. Okay. And then I'm going to update the custom value. Like that. Hit save. And now all I'm going to do is hit refresh here and that should turn green if this is working. Boom. Look at that. So everywhere where I'm calling uh, headline, right? Headline bold color, it's going to go green. So let's do this together from scratch. Let's go try to change the button color. Okay. So let's go pick, um, let's go make a new one. So we're going to go, let's do, uh, let's do, let's do purple. Okay. So purple hex code, purple hex code is that. Okay. There's my purple hex code. I'm going to make a new custom value called, um, I'm going to call it button color. Okay. And I'm going to call it that hit save. So now we have button color here. So now when I come to my editor, okay, I'm going to go find a button right here. And instead of blue, blue is the background color. Okay. Instead of that, I'm going to add a custom color and I'm going to call this button color. And instead of giving it directly the color, I'm going to reference the custom value of button color. I'm going to remove those spaces there. I'm going to hit add color. Now this seems to kind of struggle at times. Um, and I think it has to do with whether it's been saved and, you know, cause I reload, if I need to refresh this thing, it doesn't have that reference, right? It, it ha the system has it over here, but the web page didn't have what that meant just yet. Okay, so let's go back here again, hopefully. So here's my button color. So now if I actually do this again, see, if I actually do this now, hopefully it will actually translate to that purple. Okay, I'm still gonna call it button color. Okay. Color already exists. Oh, 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 it refreshed it. Look at that. It's right there. Okay, so let's just double check this. So it's called button color. Look at that. Okay, so a little bit of refreshing, probably, you know, and it brings in that button color. Okay, so now, um, now as long as I made all my other buttons, you know, reference, now they're all referencing button color. Okay, so now when I build out my sites, now I'm going to start building them out generically speaking. So I'm going to say, Hey, I'm going to use button color. So then if I save this, preview this. Okay. I've got my green. I've got my purple buttons. Okay. I can now easily change. Um, let's do turquoise, turquoise hex code. I'm going to change all the buttons all at once to turquoise. Okay. So I'm going to do that by doing it here. So I'm going to change my button color to turquoise. And I'm just going to come over here and refresh this page. Look at that. I just saw one. There it is. There it is. And that is how you use custom values for colors 
in your websites and funnels. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.